Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, in preparing for the last video of the Fairfield Inn build series, um, I remembered that I needed to, I need to add an asset group to the airport. If you guys are familiar with my scenery on flightsim.to and other things, I, on my large airports, I make my building package separate from my airport package. Um, is that the best way to do it? I don't know. Um, it's, it's just a matter of choice. Um, I do that so if I need to make updates to the buildings, I can do that without affecting the main airport. Okay, usually the airport itself doesn't change all that much. They just go in and add buildings and stuff like that. But I do all my ground textures, parking spaces, uh, aircraft parking spaces, and all that kind of stuff. I do that in my airport file. Um, the buildings itself are in the building package. All right, so I'm digressing a bit. But I'm starting a better workflow and that is using projected meshes and stuff for ground textures. But in order to use a projected mesh in a package, it has to be, you have to have a model lib, just like if it was a building, all right? Because a projected mesh is an object, all right? So, what am I getting at? Well, if you'll notice, I have John Glenn International Airport opened uh, I don't have it in the editor yet. I just have the project open. And we have a material library and we have the BGL. I call it a bugle file. Okay. But I do not have a model lib asset group. So if we go into the file explorer and go to package sources, you'll see that I have a model lib. Uh, folder in the in the airport package sources right I do have a model lib however if I go to package definitions and I open up the John Glenn International Airport XML with notepad plus plus you're gonna notice that I have the content info asset group the BGL adjet, uh, asset group and I have the model lit I mean I have the material library okay right here material library material lib but I do not have a model lib so we need to add the model lib asset group to the airport there are Basically two ways, uh, not basically, there are two ways of adding an asset group to a project. I could simply find an asset group from another project and copy the tags, copy that asset group tag from one project to another and then just do some renaming of the paths and names and stuff, which is usually the way that I prefer to do it. Uh, I like to work in Notepad++ to do that kind of stuff. But the other way is using the actual um, in-sim way of adding an asset group. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay. So let's minimize here. Now let's go ahead and close out Notepad++. And let's minimize our file folder. Fi um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, and let's go into the project. So here we have we're, we we have not loaded it into the scenery editor yet. We are going to add the asset group using the tools in the editor. So over here in the inspector, 
here's where you would type in your version and stuff like that and your names and stuff most of you guys know this but down here we have we have in the asset groups we have the material library and we have the BGL but we do not have a model lib and if I don't have a model lib uh, asset group and I build this project even though I have a folder for a mo model lib it will not add those objects to the project so I wouldn't be able to bring in my projected meshes okay so what we're gonna do is we are gonna add them so if we look at my uh, package sources I have a folder right here and inside that folder I have parking spaces alright I've made some projected meshes for different styles of parking spaces I have five spaces ten spaces and then I have this uh, uh, I'll call it a handicap parking space uh, it's actually an ADA parking space American with Disabilities Act parking space all right so I have objects in here and I've actually exported those out so there's a bin GLTF and an XML for each one of those so for the van for the five space for the ten space but when I build this project since there's no asset group these will not be available in the sim so we need to make them available in the sim so what I'm going to do is back in the uh, editor I'm going to come over here to add an asset add an asset group and I'm going to add a custom and then we're going to go to next and we are going to name this um, I need to uh, figure I can't remember where I was let's backspace this okay let's call this mpw dash kmch dash models okay and the type is going to be model lib okay so I'm going to choose model lib which I already had all right and then we are going to hit create okay so now I have a model lib so I'm going to select the model lib and I'm going to the inspector and I'm going to verify my uh, path to the package sources. All right. So now it says John Glenn, Columbus International Airport. Right. So let's find out what this path is by opening the file folder. And we're going to go into package sources. So my path is CMH package sources and my source is MPH MCM uh, KCMH John Glenn Columbus International model lib. Okay. So I am going to go to the director for the directory for the model lib. Okay. And I'm going to select this. I'm going to go into the package sources and I'm going to choose that folder and I'm going to select folder. Okay. And the output can stay the same. All right. So now we have the model lib in our project, right? And you'll notice over here on the left side, we now have a model lib added to our uh, list. Now I'm simply going to build my project. And we look down here to the um, package builder I have 
zero failed which is always a good sign I have zero errors so I'm going to close out the console and now we're going to load this into the sim however I'm going to get out of the sim and get back into the sim so I have a fresh start so as soon as I do that I'll be back I am back in the sim uh, I've loaded my project it's not in the inspector yet but you notice we have the material library we have the airport and we now have a model lib if we look at the XML again we'll right click we'll open this up with notepad plus plus notice that underneath materials we now have the material lib uh, asset group with its path to the actual source data that I'm using to be, uh, to add my models okay and then it writes it to the John Glenn Columbus International it, it writes it to the scenery path okay now we want to make sure that it works in our sim so I'm going to go to the airport and we're going to load this in the editor and we are going to use the alt key and combination of mouse movements and things like that buildings haven't drawn yet there we go all right combination of mouse movements you know and we're going to come over to our Fairfield Inn and we're going to load this in the editor we loaded our airport into the editor is what I just did okay and now what I want to do is go to objects I'm going to change this over to projected meshes and I'm going to check my listing over here on the right side to see if my airport shows up in my list so we're going to continue searching all right so over here on the right side I'm going to arrow down and there is the CMH John Glenn Columbus International Airport and my parking spaces my 10 space 5 space and my and my ADA parking space is in the list so I'm going to select that I'm going to do a one click placing and see if that bad boy shows up there it is right there Okay, I'm going to click right here for now and I'm going to turn off one click placing and I'm going to right click properties oh it's already up there there it is I have it up here and we are going to change its priority to three move that over here so we can see it okay I'm gonna have to do something with my apron here because it's not putting it on top of my apron okay but that's not a big issue but this is the projected mesh for the handicap parking space all right so now I'm able to bring that uh, into my project all right now I'm just gonna have to work with some priorities to get it to show up on top of the uh, apron but we are gonna do that I'm not gonna take the time to do that here this video was just adding an asset group to a project using the sim tools all right the next video we're going to be placing these parking spaces in our scenery. 
So I hope this video helped you in adding an asset group in the sim. And I will see you guys on the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you can support me by buymeacoffee.com slash myphysicalworld. And I will see you guys on the next video. See you later. Thanks for watching.